delightfully sunny outside so much so that i had to cover my blinds whilst to, to talk to you guys you can see a little shimmer which honestly makes me so happy i don't know what it is about like light reflection that i find like the purest form of art when i was a little kid my grandmother had a pool and it would reflect the pool reflections of the waves would reflect on her ceiling and i just thought it was magic it is pure magic but anyways that's not why we're here we are getting ready for a very exciting weekend when i say i'm grateful oh my gosh i'm going to cry just thinking about it i'm an emotional girl i'm a crier i cry all the time so we're all good bobby and i are heading out on a staycation this weekend which i'm so excited about i'll give you our full itinerary in a minute but we are doing a staycation at the malia orlando which i'm so so grateful for them hosting us for this weekend this is my first ever hotel collaboration this is something that i want to do more of you know obviously you see my pack with me is my travel videos and it's something i'm passionate about and i want to bring you guys more of more reviews more more experiences with those things so i'm so excited to go stay there this weekend experience it and tell you guys all about it i know it's going to be amazing <laughs> but um i'm excited to actually stay there and give you guys all the details and fill you in on how incredible it is so we will be staying there this weekend and the reason that it ended up we ended up working it out over this weekend is because this weekend is Orlando MegaCon, which Robbie and I are huge con people. I have a Comic-Con vlog a while back from when we went to New York Comic-Con. New York Comic-Con is our home con, which I will always kind of think of it as that, even though we don't live there anymore. <laughs> we love it so much, and that's how we started going to cons. Robbie and I had both said that we had wanted to go to cons, but we had never been to any sort of convention, and beyond like a dance convention when I was a kid, but not like comic conventions. And we're big old nerds. And so for our first anniversary, I bought us tickets to New York Comic Con. And then we went every year that we could since. But obviously since we don't live here, there anymore, we've tried to find them elsewhere. And so we went to MegaCon last year and it was super fun. And this is like the beginnings of a manifestation because last year I told Robbie, I was like, next year, someone's going to pay me to come to the con and like wear their clothes and like we're gonna stay at a hotel and whatnot. And so while that's not exactly what happened, it is very close. <laughs> and so I'm very, very excited. I'm literally so grateful. We're staying at Melia for the weekend, but we have a whole itinerary planned and I'm actually doing my first ever cosplay, which I'm very excited about. My mom made it, my mom is a seamstress. I can sew-ish and I wanna get to sewing more because I wanna do more cosplays on my own, but my mom, did this one and she loves to help with that because she has the skills and she's fantastic she's a seamstress so like and has trained her whole life with that whereas like i'm just kind of a baby with it so i'm very excited to reveal that i'll show you guys hopefully it'll get here like today or tomorrow it's monday today we are going to the con on friday we are staying i keep wanting to say melia but it's malia I'm 90% sure. We're staying at the Malia or Orlando, so we're checking in on Thursday, and it's about, it's not too far from us. So we'll be able to come home if we need to, but like I want to stay there as much as possible and like have a very fun, relaxing staycation out of this on the days that we're not doing crazy things. We're checking in on Thursday, and then Thursday evening, we're going to see the Dungeons and Dragons movie at Disney Springs, which I'm so excited about. Robbie plays d and I love watching d and content and um, listening to d and podcasts and stuff. I love the story of it. I don't love playing, but I really love Dungeons and Dragons. So I'm very excited to see this movie and that's really close to where we are staying. So that'll be a really quick trip. So we'll do that on Thursday night and then go our tradition after we see movies at Disney Springs is to get Chicken Guy. So we'll get Chicken Guy. And then Friday is the convention and we're coming back to have dinner at the Wilson, which is the restaurant at the Melia. I'm very excited. It looks very, very lovely. Saturday is a chill day. I think we're going to spend the day, uh, at least some of the morning in celebration. Celebration is our favorite town to go around and walk in. It is so picturesque. Like it is beyond beautiful. And it's like, every time I go there, I feel like I'm just manifesting because I just love the vibes and like being in that it's just beautiful. It's stunning. I forget the exact history of it, but I know it was like started by the Disney company. So obviously it's really pretty. It kind of looks like Hollywood Studios in a way, but much more like East Coasty. It's really lovely. Obviously Robbie being from the East Coast, it feels like very good, like down home vibes for him. And it's just, in general so cute. And there's like a, an old fashioned diner there, which again, my East Coast boy, my Long Island boy loves a diner. And so we'll probably do that on Saturday and then 
Robbie's gonna come home and I'm gonna have the night there myself, which I'm very excited about because I don't get a lot of time to myself when we live in a one bedroom apartment, live and work in a one bedroom apartment. So I'm very excited for that. So I have a few days to plan for. I also think I may go to the park after we check out on Sunday. Maybe we'll do that on Saturday, but I think I wanna spend the day on Saturday like at the pool. Robbie and I'll probably spend some time at the pool in the hot tub. So I have a whole trip, it's three nights. So a whole trip to plan for, obviously, we can come back and forth because it's a staycation but i really kind of want to stay and treat it as a vacation because right now that's probably not going to happen for us for a while with with how we're budgeting and saving and, and trying to figure our lives out so i really want to treat it as a vacation and have a lot of fun so now that we have all of these things to plan for i have to pack so bring you guys with me i know you love back with me so we are starting packing i'm trying to decide if i want to just like do a big honker suitcase since because I don't have to pay for it since we're not flying I don't have to like pay for it or anything um and I have a really cute Minnie Mouse one so I feel like that would be really cute and I haven't gotten a chance to use it yet or do I just do my like old school Disney Vera Bradley duffel one day I'll get one of those cool Sony Clover ones but not yet can't decide but I think what I'm going to do is try and lay out some outfits first you know how I usually do I like to lay everything out I like to put it all on my rack or hang it up lay it on my bed to get an idea because basically we need an outfit for check-in this may be the same outfit that I wear to see the D&D movie but I feel like I want them to be separate <laughs> because I'm extra like that <laughs> and so I want to do like a semi-themed outfit for the D&D movie but I also like to be very comfortable when I watch when I'm in a movie theater so we'll have to plan that and then obviously the convention is my cosplay but I also think I'm going to bring a second outfit even though my cosplay is very comfortable I might bring a second outfit just because I have so many friends with like bookish shops and nerdy shops that I want to showcase some of their merch at the con so I think maybe two outfits for that and then we're going to have dinner that night so <clears throat> I have a couple ideas for that dinner outfit and then Saturday just like kind of lounging around maybe um going around celebration so sweet and soft and then i think on sunday i might pack something to take to the parks because where melia is in celebration celebration essentially has like a beeline to the disney park so it takes like 10 minutes to get there so i think what i might do is bring an outfit for the parks on sunday and then when i check out head to the parks and then head home so it'll be a whole orlando florida theme park adventure to take you guys along with so let's get started i'm gonna start laying some outfits out because i have some ideas but I haven't gotten too specific with them yet. So I'm gonna start laying some outfits out on my rack and then we're gonna get started. Overall vibes, springy, beautiful, ethereal, English garden, but make it tropical. <laughs> that's, that's what we're going for for this staycation. I also pulled out, I think maybe this for D&D movie, cause it feels like kind of princess and fun but then there's also part of me that wants to do like warrior-y moment maybe with some leather leggings I'm not sure yet this is something that i've been wanting to try for a while this is a nightgown that i got in bermuda many years ago and i absolutely love it i have been seeing a lot of kind of that sleepwear turned into daywear look i'm thinking of trying this look with a like pretty white bralette underneath so it's not too sheer or anything and then probably a slip underneath it as well it's actually not too sheer it's a pretty pretty good quality piece of fabric this would be really pretty with like soft heels and like this is giving me very like english garden reading a book in the garden type of i have an outfit like this pinned on my vision board right now so we're definitely gonna give it a try whether it's a like sit on my balcony and read type of moment or whether this takes us to dinner on friday night i'm not sure but i'm gonna try it or for dinner i also have this very fun bright pink moment hotel restaurant has this really fun display of umbrellas like colorful umbrellas i feel like the bright vibrant vibes are really really great so this might be an option for dinner as well but then i'm also thinking something like this this is a little fun sassy night out like a date night for me and robbie like a little bit sexier kind of a moment with heels or 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 I should just give, I'm gonna do a try on, but you know, I'm kind of talking you through too. Or I have this two piece 
that is fun and also kind of gives me Padme vibes so it feels like good with like the con. <laughs> we love a theme. I love a theme, obviously. I have this that I thrifted a while back that I feel like is a great bathing suit cover up moment, but this might also go over a dress for my day in celebration. Then I also have like, do I wanna, I wanna bring like a cute lounge moment to have for breakfast when we, the morning of the con, I'm gonna have to work a little bit while we're at the hotel. So I want something comfy and, and cute that can like walk me down to get a tea or breakfast. Let's try something else. I stand by you when you're falling. When the river is calling I said I love you forever We can make it together What goes up must be down There's lots of friendly faces all around And nothing's ever lifting me higher Than a touch of your sweet desire Excuse me, I'm kind of like in between on what we were doing. I brought a few dresses. I'm gonna wear this to D and D, and then I think I'm gonna have. I have to pick the jacket to wear over it. So because I always get cold in movie theaters, so like I have to have a jacket. And then this is gonna be my dress for celebration. This I think is gonna be my dress for when we go out to eat. And then I brought this just in case I change my mind about going out to eat and want something like short and sassy. It looks very like Tinkerbell. I got it from Amazon, which I'll link in the description of this video. And then I have all of my undergarments in here, bathing suit, bathing suit cover up, and then the slip dress in case I do end up wanting to wear that to dinner or just like wearing it around um, our suite because 
it's just so cute and bougie. And then that way, and then now I'm thinking I should bring like a sweater that will go, that could like wear well over this, uh, over the slip and the dress. So we'll see. And then I have casual clothes in here. I don't have my cosplay costume yet, so I'm going to check back in with you guys probably the day before we leave or the day of, maybe the day of. I know it's like so low stakes since it's a staycation, but I really want to enjoy myself and relax and have fun while we're there and also like look really cute. I like planning far in advance. It makes me happy, so that's what we're doing. But I will check back in with you guys probably the day before we go or the day of and show you my cosplay costume and all of that. And then obviously I'll take you guys along on our stay at Malia as well because I'm very excited about it. But here I have a couple casual options. This, my probably reading Sarah J Moss sweatshirt from my friend Ali's store, uh, Shop Book of Streamers, which I will link as well. Some jeans just in case and then a casual outfit to wear around the hotel to like breakfast and all that. I think the only other things I like really need are, I want to solidify what I'm wearing to the park on Sunday or Saturday, probably Sunday, and then um, pajamas, and then I'm going to bring one like workout outfit so I can do some light workouts while we're there because it just feels so much better if I at least stretch in the morning or do a little bit of Pilates. I do Melissa Wood Health. I absolutely love it. It's like changed my body and my mind and everything because <laughs> um, I went from years of doing really high intensity, high impact workouts over and over and over and over and over again, and I find that my body is just loving the more gentle Pilates, and a lot of it is body weight only, so I'll take a look at that schedule just to see if I need to bring my like little ankle weights as well because you know what we might as well go big and do everything we want to over there so that's that did i say pajamas i need to put pajamas in and then like socks and shoes and that's just about it which is great i think i'm gonna bring my duffel but that may change in a few days as well so we'll see um i will see you guys then <laughs> Hello friends, it is the day of the staycation. We are finishing up packing. I'm hoping to leave in, I wanted to leave in 45 minutes, but I'm hoping in an hour-ish. <laughs> so because I had to finish work, my I just, I poorly planned this week. So finishing up packing, don't have too much more to do. Robbie's showering, sorry for the noise, but I'm really, really excited. I realized that I wanted to plan a few more last minute things. Um, like outfits and things and also I threw in a quick load of laundry so again like who knows if we're actually gonna leave on time I hope so because I really want to get there and be able to settle in before we go see a movie tonight also I attempted my own highlights they're not amazing we don't need to talk about it <laughs> actually but like now looking at them I'm pretty impressed if I had a smidge more patience and practice I think I would have nailed it but like it was almost a disaster, at least I thought it was going to be, and it actually wasn't, so pretty proud of that. But have to finish up packing. Also, I have my cosplay, which I actually think I'm going to wait to show you till tomorrow because I don't really have time to put it on now. I need a workout set, a some pajamas, and something to wear like there, and then I have to finalize finalize i sound so professional i want to finalize my D, D movie outfit for tonight and like find a jacket to bring maybe a cardigan for the hotel i'm not really sure started to pull out some bits and bobs some new outfits still have to decide what i'm wearing for that check-in moment because like every moment needs an outfit why not make every moment special and themed if it makes you feel good i know it does make everyone feel good but it makes me feel really good so we're gonna theme out a bougie living our highest selves checking into a nice hotel outfit that's the last thing you have to do and then finish the laundry fingers crossed i literally just like need some undergarments so hopefully <laughs> that'll be just like a quick moment um yeah i think that's it okay let's get to packing <laughs> 